Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Spider Woman issue 7. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 147, and that show will review all the comics I read this week in one show in the scripture below that are the exclusive comics to that show. But let's start talking about Spider Woman issue 7. Uh, so, this is the I think yes, uh, la penultimate issue of the Spider-Woman crossover, and then supposedly next week Omega is supposed to come out, but I guess they delayed it uh, for a week or two, so Omega's coming out soon, <laughs> and that is the last issue of the crossover. Uh, but let's see what's going on with Spider-Woman. Uh, really cool cover, um, love the detail here, and uh, it definitely has a great concept because you have Jesse and... Jessica, Jess, fighting um, right next to uh, Jessica's baby. And that's pretty much the whole issue uh, in a nutshell. So really, really great cover. Love how they um, utilize light on the cover. Really like um, the colorings here. So uh, let's see what's going on with the interior artwork, though. Uh, so yes, the artwork has been different for uh, the Spider Woman crossover in this series. Now, I love Rodriguez's art, and I probably like Rodriguez. Uh, style more for this book, but Joelle Jones' artwork works really well here, too. Uh, so, really enjoy the artwork, especially when we get to see uh, Jessica's abilities and also uh, Jesse's abilities. So, really well done with the, the fighting, and uh, just in general, facial expressions were really well done. So, I, I really like the artwork overall, even though it was different from what we usually get with Spider-Woman. But let's see what's going on with the story. Uh, so with this issue, like I said, it's mostly Jesse and Jessica fighting um, in front of Jessica's baby and then kind of understanding each other a bit more. It's like, oh, you know, I'm fighting you because of this. And uh, Gwen is actually in this issue also finding out more about Jesse's past and how he got his abilities and why he's actually working for Cindy is because he thought that's the only way he could survive. But really, um, what Cindy was giving... Um, giving Jesse was his abilities. He could survive without these treatments that Cindy has been giving him, which again has persuaded him to even work with Cindy. So now it seems like Jesse's like, oh, okay, I could go to the good side. Don't totally understand why superheroes are so much martyrs and want to help everybody. But yeah, I don't want to be a bad person either. It's kind of just a job. Uh, so now Gwen did lose her abilities in the last issue, and she's using um, Jesse's thing uh, for the time being, and I, I think after this arc, she's gonna have to really make the decision, do I still use this gadget, or, you know, do I turn over to a new life, which is teased in this issue of Jessica saying, hey, Gwen, do you really want to do this? You kind of have a good life going on. Uh, do you really want to mess it up by being, uh, being, uh, Spider-Woman, being your own Spider-Woman? And Gwen's like, hell yeah, I'm gonna help you out. So, Really enjoyed this issue. Some great, great character interaction between Jesse and Jessica, which is all you can ask for with a with an issue like this. And also, it does um, progress the story with this whole Spider Woman crossover, finding out the origins of Cindy, finding out her plans a bit more. Um, so, really fun issue overall. Um, and also, again, you know, even uh, applies to Gwen's story a bit more, which I enjoyed. And overall, it's just a fun issue to read, just seeing Jesse and Jessica beat each other up and, and, and talk, obviously, while they do that, seeing that their lives are kind of similar. I love that Jesse pretended to be Jessica's twin brother. Uh, I mean, again, the moments between them just work throughout the whole issue, and that's why you should definitely pick it up. If you enjoy Jessica's personality and you want to see kind of an opposite version of Jessica, read this. It's a lot of fun, and still obviously dealing with the the uh, mother side of the story also, which is another aspect I love about Spider-Woman. So I thought this was a great edition of Spider-Woman, and actually this was my pick of the week. I gave it four and a half stars. Definitely read it, and uh, I had a blast reading it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later.